Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to define an action creator. After creating an action, the next step is sending the action to the Redux store so it can be updated, so it can update state. In Redux, you can define action creators to accomplish this. An action creator is simply a JavaScript function that returns an action. In other words, action creators create objects that represent action events. So we want to define a function called uh, named action creator that it returns the action object when called. Okay, so we can define a function many different ways. Here's one. So we can go function, action, creator. And then within there, we want to return the action object when called. So let's call this one, um, I, th I mean, we could call it action. That's kind of annoying, which returns an action object. So let's just call this object. Uh, no, object's not a good word for using this. Action creator, we want to say um, task. And so within task, we want to return task. Let's see if that works. Okay. So basically what we're saying is what happens if I console.log action? We get our type login, which is this guy right here, right? Now, what happens if I go action creator? And then in, in here, I, t I pass in action we get the same thing, the type of login. And so this function allows us to pass in um, objects to the React, um, uh, to, to the Redux store. Okay, so this will become more obvious as to why we would do this now. Um, a lot of people would say, like there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You could say action creator is equal to a function of task. And if we do it this way, we need to say let um, this will give us the results as well. So this is just a different way to write functions. And then there's the final ES6 way of defining this in which you could remove this all and make it a single line function. Um, and this would pass the test as well. So this is just the ES6. This is the most concise way of doing it. You're going to see this sort of thing a lot. But remember that this is exactly the same in terms of functionality or very similar to the same in functionality of this one and this one. It's just written differently. I remember when I was starting off, this was uh, quite confusing to me, the way that all of a sudden we were writing functions like this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.